One of my tricks is to always have homemade soup on hand. Not too much, I have a tendency to do that, but I like to make about four or five servings so that I can have one cup servings when I'm hungry, I don't know what I want, and I'm about to make a bad decision. And also it's good for Kevin as well because he tends to do that too. So today I'm gonna make my gumbo rice vegetable soup. It's really easy. You could totally put some protein in here as well, like little baby chicken meatballs would be good. You can even ground up some hamburger, brown it and throw it in. That's good as well. But today we're just going to do vegetables because that is what I'm in the mood for. Really, really simple. Here's what you're going to need. I have one large chopped onion, two heaping tablespoons of minced garlic, this is black pepper. I'm gonna use this whole container of gumbo mix. Makes it really easy, you just kind of throw it in. Now to pop up the flavor, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of better than bouillon vegetable. You could use chicken if you want to, beef, whatever you like. I really like the taste of the vegetable. Now I know we're double garlicking here, but if you guys watch my channel, you know how I feel about garlic. So. You can eliminate the second garlic if you want to, but I'm gonna throw it in. And then we'll do about a tablespoon of basil leaves. We're gonna throw in some baby arugula. I'm gonna use about one handful of that. I'm gonna polish off this jasmine rice. I'm gonna measure that out. So we're only gonna use a half a cup. I don't wanna overdo that. And then our base is also gonna be this low sodium chicken broth. So when I use that one, sometimes if the flavor doesn't come through enough for me, that's why I utilize a little bit of this better than bouillon because that does really, really bring the flavor through. Now, little tip, if you're sensitive to MSG like I am, you're not going to wanna overdo this. I only use a little bit of it because MSG can give me a raging migraine. And that is, this is definitely has MSG in it. So some people can't have it at all. If you can't, no big deal, eliminate it and just stick with the chicken broth. But if you can and it doesn't bother you or you can use it in moderation, a little bit of this will really pop up the flavor. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is Put just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil down in our pan. Just a little spray of that to keep things moving. Then I'm going to put my onions and my garlic down in the skillet and we're going to get that kind of moving together and soften things up just a bit. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw in the gumbo mix. This entire bag has five servings in it. So that's perfect for what we want. It's 50 calories per serving. So that kind of makes it a pretty easy calculation when I calculate the calories for the recipe. So I'm gonna let this get all warmed up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we've got that all working together. I can smell the garlic and the onions, so it's softening down nicely. And the next thing we're gonna do is just toss in a little bit of this baby arugula. This is only 21 calories for 85 grams. I'm not gonna weigh this out to me. It's such a small amount that I'm not worried about it. So I'm just gonna put about a handful in. I like to use that in place of like a kale or spinach or something like that because I really enjoy the peppery bite of the arugula. And also for me, I'm always trying to get iron sources because I'm anemic. And so I'm always trying to get a little extra iron anywhere I can. So we're gonna, gonna go in with our chicken stock. This is 15 calories per one cup. And let's see, you know what? We're gonna just put the whole thing in, what the heck. 
So that is four cups. The entire container, it's empty. So the whole container is, let's see, times four is 60 calories for the entire container. So I'm gonna put the lid on and let these flavors start working together. It's been about 20 minutes now. Everything is looking pretty good. Now at this point, I would suggest that you taste this and see where you're at. For me, that tastes pretty darn good. Now would be the time that I would normally put a little bit of this better than bouillon in there, but you know what? I'm not even gonna put it in there because I don't think I'm gonna need it. And if I don't need it, there's no point. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of basil in and I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more garlic. Just about that much. You notice I'm not putting any salt in. We don't need the salt at all. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch in some pepper now as well. So we are going to move on to the last step. This is boiling again. I've got this kicked way back to a two. You want it to kind of just simmer, but if it boils a little bit, that is okay. But now we're gonna turn it off, turn your heat off and measure out your rice. I'm gonna do one half cup. That's gonna be plenty. Okay, we are ready. Doesn't that look delicious? So this is a very thick soup. Let me kind of spin it around for you here. You can see that was only one half cup of rice. If you want yours to be a little bit more liquidy, put a quarter cup, then it won't be as thick, but for me, we like it like this because it's super low calorie and it's very filling. I just took a bite of this and it is, it's delicious. So you could top this with a little Parmesan if you wanted, a little squirt of olive oil. There's my olive oil. Put a little drizzle of that over the top and a little bit of pepper and you are good to go with the meal.